Well, let's take the concept of universal income. I had to think about why do I hate this so much? It's predicated on the idea that you deserve the right to a basic universal income regardless of worker ability. Sounds good, but how does it work? It only works by the grace of others. By the grace of others who did the work and who had their spoils taken from them at gunpoint. Nothing that you think you deserve when you trace it back far enough can stem from anything other than the grace of someone else. I wanted to talk with you guys about a couple of things today. I know I'm not supposed to read the comments sections, and I usually don't on social media. Uh, obviously, people who, who are Mug Club members, that's a little bit different. We can interact with people there. But that Too Cute Maddie, can you bring up the overlay here? This is one thing that I did see recently in the Amy Schumer special. This person said, uh, I would love to join, but I've been taking care of my mom for the last two years. Two weeks ago, informed us that she only has three to six months left. COPD sucks. I'll eventually join to support them, meaning us, but for this time, uh, YouTube will have to suffice. And uh, this other person, just username, we've uh, eliminated any private info here, though they did post it on YouTube, ill-advised, yeah. uh, <laughs> said, God bless you. I'd like to send you the money to sign up for Mug Club. And if you wa read the rest of these comments, you can bring it down to Maddie. People uh, can see it. If you're listening to the audio version, I encourage you to go watch the video. Um, first off, we're going to get you, uh, we appreciate that our fans are trying to support each other. We're going to get you, obviously, uh, hooked up with, with Mug Club. We'll make sure, we'll find your email, we'll track you down, and we'll make sure that you're taken care of. We, we really appreciate you. the sentiment. Um, but seeing our fans, you act that way, knowing that the, that, that is truly, it's indicative of the bulk of you who tune into this show, it really does. You know, I know as I get older, it sounds, but it, it really does warm my heart. I think it, it warms all of our cockles. Yeah. We shouldn't does. use that term, but I used it anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. Well, there. you should be. You should be, but not because of that. Um, so two things I wanted to talk about today. The first thing is esteeming others for serving other people first. So let me tell you a story. Uh, this last weekend, I went to Florida with my wife to visit the in-laws. Love my in-laws. Great, great people. I'm very fortunate in that respect. Um, the first day, we were fighting quite a bit, arguing quite a bit. And this tends to happen. I don't know if you've noticed this, the first day of vacation, if this tends oh, yeah. to happen. The first day of vacation, like when my, my wife and I, when we used to live in different states before we were married, the first day, we would always be arguing, and usually the last day. And... I think it's because of one very simple, we're, we're, human beings are selfish. And so you have your way of doing things or your expectations. And then you're locked in a room with someone basically or a tube in the sky and you're staying in the same room in your in-laws apartments. And you find out that you, you really can't do things the way that you've been wanting to do them. And the next, I will say this, the next two days on our, our, our trip were great because we consciously decided that rather than push and pull and bump heads, that we would serve each other first. And this is a challenge I would like to issue to everyone out there. Because I, we get a lot of life advice questions when we do those segments behind the, the paywall. I want to challenge you for one week, one week, to focus on serving other people. And that brings me to my second point, and one that I think might be a little bit uncomfortable for a lot of people. Serving others first, thinking of others first. Um, it also gets you out of the rhythm that we all fall into of getting what we deserve. You can call it entitlement. Uh, we all feel it to a certain degree. We're all so focused on getting what we deserve, on what we rightfully have coming to us, only... Have you ever actually thought about that? So there were other comments uh, uh, on the Amy Schumer special teaser, which I'll be honest about, pissed me off a little bit. People complaining about the fact that Mug Club exists, right? People saying, well, why can't you just upload it all for free? I'm not, I'm not paying for, I'm not paying for Mug Club. I don't have the money. And when I read that, I got pissed for a few reasons. Some are valid. And I realized some of them were my own issues. Uh, valid ones. For example, we literally couldn't upload yesterday's Amy Schumer yeah. review. We tested it on a private mm -hmm. stream. YouTube immediately struck the video and revoked this private channel's live streaming privileges. It's not just about demonetization anymore. It's outright banning. Sometimes yes. we simply can't get the show up. You saw it with the Oscars. The trailer itself demonetized the second it was uploaded right. and done. But it's far worse than that so when they just, just don't that. let you upload the review. Yes. It's, it's, it's not even just about you not receiving notifications, even though you opted in two, three, four, five times, some of you out there. So please bookmark yes. the page and keep checking in. Sometimes we just can't do it. Another thing, we've always created exclusive content like The Daily Show for people who are Mug Club members uh, because we wanted to provide everyone with more free content. Mug Club is the only one anyone here survives. So that's why not everything goes up for free. And sometimes I'll read these comments and I think, well, you know what? Maybe you, know what? Maybe you don't deserve this show. Maybe if you don't join Mug Club... The show might go away. If you're not willing to step up, the show will go away forever. You'll log into your Facebook, and that's what you deserve. But if I'm being honest, neither do I. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this show. I don't deserve for the, I don't deserve the many of you out there to give me your hard-earned money so that I and everyone here can continue to create and perform this show for you. You know, sometimes this show is hard. Sometimes, yeah, people burn out. Sometimes we run into health issues. But, oh, my God, I don't deserve 
to get up every day and work, sure, maybe 10, 14 hours on creating something, but creating something that people love. For people who love me, who love this show, the people, you, who've created this platform, who've made this channel the number one conservative channel in the history of YouTube. Why am I, I had to think about this myself, reading the comment, that's why you don't read the comment section. I go, wait, wait, why am I getting pissed? Because some people want to rip our content for free. I don't deserve any of this. It's a blessing. And when I think about what I deserve, have you ever really thought about that? I mean, really thought about it. When I think about it, I'll tell you, I'll be honest, it's scary. When I think of throughout my life, the mistakes I've made, the people I've hurt, whether on purpose or by accident, the ripple effect some of my misdeeds may have created, when I add it all up, do I really want what I deserve? Do you? Do any of us? And yeah, listen, to you, the guy, girl, or Z who doesn't want to support the show, you do. You deserve for this show to go away. You deserve to log into your YouTube account and go, oh, it's completely gone. I never get to watch it again. But you won't. That's not gonna, you know why? Because of grace. Because of the grace of other people. Because other people have paid the bill for you. And just like you saw in that comment earlier, it's from someone who's willing to help another person out. My point is this, none of us really want to get what we actually deserve, any of us. And we all like to think about what we've earned to what we're entitled, little, even sometimes the little joys in life that we deserve about treating yourself. But what, what about the, does it go both ways? What about the justice? What about the punishment? You think about what you deserve there? You know what, most, if not all of us, have never had to truly bear the brunt of what we deserve. And the only reason we don't is because of grace. Now, listen, I'm a Christian, okay? So I believe and I'm thankful for God's grace when it comes to the ultimate justice and punishment. But let's take it out of the meta metaphysical sense here, okay? In your day to day, you don't receive what you truly deserve, often only through the grace of others. Usually by many others who lift your burdens, who serve your needs, and you probably don't even recognize it. I know most of us certainly don't appreciate it, it's why I see entitlement mindsets as so pervasively evil. You don't deserve, let me, hard truth here, you don't deserve your job. You have one by the grace of someone else who created a product, which stems from the grace of someone else who created a company, which stems from the grace of someone who created an industry, which stems from the grace of someone who graced the world with an idea. You don't deserve, you, don't, you do not deserve healthcare or an average life expectancy that's 20 to 30 years longer than your great grandfather. You receive it by the grace of someone else who is providing the procedures that you need, or, or the grace of someone who pioneered modern medicine, the grace of someone who took a risk that you yourself would likely probably never be willing to take. And I know right now we're talking about money exchanging hands. And so people will light up the comment section saying, well, it's not by grace, it's a profit motive, but th that's not entirely true. And by the way, you're, you're missing the point. Either way, let's go smaller with it. You don't deserve that coffee your wife or your husband made you this morning. You, often, you don't deserve the unwavering love or support that they give you. You receive it through grace. And, and, and it's for the same simple concept, by the way, that mandated entitlements destroy a nation. Take the concept, let's take the concept of universal income. I had to think about why do I hate this so much? It's predicated on the idea that you deserve the right to a basic universal income regardless of work or ability. Sounds good, but how does it work? It only works by the grace of others. By the grace of others who did the work and who had their spoils taken from them at gunpoint. Nothing that you think you deserve when you trace it back far enough can stem from anything other than the grace of someone else. And this brings me back to my first point. Just as I think entitlement robs people of their spirit, of their soul, your own mindset of entitlement of what you deserve robs you of truly living a fulfilling life. Don't believe me? Try this for a week. Write this down, okay? Take some, grab a pen and paper if you're listening on the audio version. All of next week, live your life day to day to bestow grace upon and serve others for the whole week. In other words, this week, first thing when you wake up, think of how you can serve people you love the most. What do you, what do you usually do? Grab yourself a cup of coffee, go for a jog. Nope, not this week. You're going to bring your wife a cup of coffee. You're going to get up earlier and help prepare your husband so that he can go for a jog before work. If you find yourself getting frustrated with things not going your way, okay, stop and ask yourself why your wife, your husband, your dad, your mom, whoever it is, the next guy down the line might be frustrated and help him to pave his way. Here, do you often find yourself getting sad? Depressed even? Talked about this, I've struggled with it. Find someone else who's even more sad. Someone who has even more of a reason to be depressed. You know they're there. Cheer them up. One week, that's what I'm asking you to do. For one week, I want you to flip the switch 
on the day-to-day -day of making sure that you get what you deserve and make sure that you are living a life to serve others. One week, do that every waking moment. Tell me it doesn't change your life. Tell me it doesn't change your entire perspective. Comment, let me know. The fact is this, if, for the people out there who commented on this, if you don't join Mug Club and support this program, listen, you, you don't deserve this show. Um, anything that you enjoy is enjoyed by the grace of others who paid the bill. Just as certainly, I don't deserve your support. I don't. You pay my bills. You pay all of our bills. You feed all of our families. I don't deserve the blessing that is the ability to employ a dozen people and to create this show for you every day. I receive support by your grace and I try to serve you as best as I can every day. And you know what? I hope I'll be around here another decade from now, able to serve you through your grace. And more importantly, I really want to see more of what I saw in that comment section of people helping someone else out. More of you mug clubbers, subscribers, supporters, bestowing grace on each other. Because you know what? That's what makes you different from a lot of these other channels. It's not about what you deserve. It's about what you give. One week. Use that comment as a model. Try it out. Let me know how it turns out for you. Hey there, here I am uh, drinking from my mug in a button down. How often do you see this? Never. So do me a favor and yourself, click one of these videos playing one of these boxes here or uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell also because subscriptions don't really mean a whole lot. If you really want to support the show, join my club. If you don't, then there's no helping you.